Hello, Spawn Town. Hello, beautiful trees. Hello, Brother's House. Hello, B Team Realty. Hello, Dragon. Dragon? Oh, yeah, it's because we did the dragon prank. Hello, Dragon. Hello, big old poop falling on B Dubs. Hello. Whoa! Hello, got your skins back. <laughs> okay, okay. If you missed it, these skins were pretty, pretty, pretty princesses at one point. But now, Corrales got them back, so all is right in the world, except this. If you watch my brother and Corrales, you will see in their video how they exploded. Uh-oh. Oh, man, I don't have one of those. Okay. I thought I was going to fix this. Well, almost. Almost fixed it, so I'll have to get those. We'll do that later. So, guys, how does it feel being outside of the Tinker's room? I heard you. I heard you loud and clear. You wanted Tinker's, so I gave you Tinker's. I gave you a lot of Tinker's. I gave you Tinker's back to back to back to back. Just so much of it. And today is a finale. Whoop, there's Schism. There's Wizard Schism. Skiz the Wiz in its wizard hat. And he is getting some stuff done at tons of guns. How many times can we say a word that rhymes with gun? So things are looking nice in here. We're almost ready to get things started. Please excuse the slightly plugged nose because my nose is slightly plugged still. But it's better, it's like getting better every day. I hope you're noticing. And I think by tomorrow, should be 100%. Oh, don't kill him. Okay. So, yeah, this is looking really nice. What was I going to do? I was gonna do something. I was gonna do something. Oh. Yeah, I was just gonna just patch up some stuff. There was a hole here, but looks like Skiz already fixed that. So, that's great. Well, I'll let him get, get back to work on tons of guns. Today is the final day of Tinker's Construct. I'm just going to, I'm gonna make it quick too, because this, this tool making takes a long time if you start smelting the stuff and pouring all the the juices and then you start you start doing this and that and then it just adds up so you might have already seen my inventory i've got or i have most of the materials i need to make a weapon and i want to make three three or four three or four weapons, but I'm only gonna make one today. The other ones I'll do like off camera or just like in another video real quick. Because like I said, you guys have had plenty of tinkers. And today it's gonna be a little different. I'm just gonna put this stuff together and we're gonna test them out. Um, we'll test it out on some mobs. But real quick, I feel like having 10 hearts. Why have nine hearts when you can have 10 hearts? Check it out, look at those hearts. Oh. Oh, that feels good. Feels good to have 10 hearts. 10 on 10. All right. So, everything is smelting nicely. And we got the Manulin Sword Blade. The full guard, let's let's just do it. Let's why delay? Let's just go. You got this the sword plate. You got the guard. You got the paper tool rod. Boom. Believe it or not, guys, I actually had to look up how to do this because if you look through here, there's no there's no cutlass recipe. But it makes sense when you think about it, because that's a hand guard or something. I don't know. Anyway, this is it. Starts out with a plus eight attack damage. Uh, okay, I think the sound was a little, uh, a little delayed there. So I'm gonna throw some moss on there. Let's start out with that. 
And then, you know what, let's just get everything. I want quartz, I want moss, and I want, oh my goodness. I can't believe I don't have it in there. I must have already used it last time. Oh yeah, I used it on the hammer. And I believe, oh no. Oh, I'm gonna have to get more lapis. I think, well, let's just see. We'll play it by ear. Okay, let's throw these bad boys on here. Let's get the ball of moss. Three modifiers remaining. Now with that paper tool rod, they gave me an extra modifier. Most of you know that, but for those of you who don't, that's how it goes. 64, 72. Okay, 72. So that is two modifiers. So far the moss and the quartz. Let's get uh, some lapis on here because I like having the looting aspect. I could make this thing a lot more powerful if I didn't have this, but guys, it was a tough one for me. I was like, I have to make a decision. Do I want, do I want to have the most powerful sword on the server, or do I want to have possibly still the most powerful sword on the server, and not have to change between weapons because. I love having that looting. I just love it. Okay, 144, great. And that is all of our modifiers. So we do this, we do this. See how I'm fast now? Extra modifier. And um, what happened to the fast, you're probably wondering. Well, we need to make one of these bad boys. We're back to being fast again. Boom, 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 boom. Two modifiers. Now, let's throw more quartz on there. So we're at we're at 8.5 hearts. And now we're at 9 hearts. Okay, 9 hearts. 9 hearts. 9.5 hearts. 10 hearts, okay, we're at 10 hearts. 10 hearts is pretty darn good. And I think, I remember hearing that's what my brother's was at. I don't know if he took his to the next level. But that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to take this bad boy to the next level. If you don't already know, you can add an additional modifier by throwing one of these bad boys on there boom and don't worry i know these are super rare but i plan on destroying plenty of withers in the future if you haven't seen my wither battle check out that video i i mopped the floor with the guy it was actually more fun than it was terrifying so actually looking at this i might need more cords let's see so we need to get up to 360 and we're at 328. What do we have here? 336. Oh, we're at 11 hearts. We're at 11 hearts. 11.5 hearts. 11.5 hearts. I gotta say, guys, I think this is the most powerful sword on the server, but I say I think because I haven't seen everyone's videos and there really probably is someone with a sword more powerful. But it's perfect timing because this bad boy, you know, the seven attack damage plus the sharpness and the looting, you know, it's almost broken. So it's time. Oh, plus 22 attack damage? Dude, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Oh, really quick, I did want to show you guys something. With this moss, we're a little low on moss, and I found a bunch of mossy stone, but you guys showed me something pretty cool. If you just put cobblestone over a water bucket, boom, there's eight moss right there. Eight uh, mossy, what do you call it? Stones. So you use that, you go like this, and you get your moss. So thank you so much for the tip. I actually didn't know that until you guys told me. So, that is pretty awesome. Uh, actually, before before we do that, before 
I go to test this out, I wanted to make this. I might have already mentioned this before. I want to just hang all my, uh, I'll just call them my toys. I want to hang them up here, the ones that I don't normally use. So, let's see, what do we put up there? Actually, I use all of these right now. We'll put we'll put this one up there for now, just so we have something up there. We'll put that up there for now, just so we have something, and then I'm just going to use this until it's about dead. Maybe I'll keep it right before it dies, just for... Uh, for a memento, because that was our first Tinker's tool. But look at this, this is so awesome. And like I said, I plan on making a lot more in the future, but we are off to a great start. So, Tinker's is officially done, our, our series on Tinker's, but out of all fairness, I do have to show you guys how well it works. And it's daytime. Is it going to be nighttime soon? No. Okay. Okay. So there it is being daytime. Um, let me find some mobs. And then we will get this bad boy going. Alright. I found a couple friends down here. Goodbye. And goodbye. Look at that. Already dropped a head. Oh, okay. Here we go. So these stinking, I must have found this before. These stinking cave spiders think they're so strong. Well, let's see about that. I already hear one. Why are you, why are you not where I think you are? Okay. You're done in one hit. Let's see one of these guys appear. You want a piece? Come on. Come on. Okay. Um, let's get rid of all the torches. Bring it. I'm ready. I'm hungry. Hungry for battle. Oh, it's spinning. Here we go. Get ready for battle. There you are. You ready to play? Oh, poison me, will you? Well, great. He poisoned me. I think I know how to fix that. Okay, that fixed the health problem, but we're still poisoned. One more second. We'll take another dip. And back in action. Okay, um, I want to try one more opponent, and I'm about to show you guys who that is. All right, it's time for the final battle. I know you're all wondering, oh, can you one-shot an Enderman? Because I think my brother can, but it's because of his exosuit buff. But I don't have the exosuit. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. I'm not, I just haven't decided yet. But I did figure something out. Here's an Enderman. Oh, it's the Enderman with the backpack. So he's about to disappear. Yeah, he's gone. So that took almost his whole life away give me those oh that's a lot of pearls so boom boom yeah one shot a zombie easily but oh okay here we go endermen are just appearing like crazy i don't even need this guy but watch what happens when i have a little of this that's right Bam! Paka paka! Dude! Oh, you got armor on? Ouch. And it wore off. Okay. Let's get a little bit more. Because this guy's really getting on my nerves. What does that say? Paka paka! Bam! Bam! Dude! Okay. It's why, it's one of the reasons why I love Trail Mix Mod. I don't use it a lot. But I do love it, and I want to use it more. I'm not getting too carried away with it, because I was testing this out in my creative world, and I crashed my game, but I think it it's because I didn't have... Oh, man! He dropped it! He dropped his Ender backpack. Usually that doesn't happen. Um, 
what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. I, I had a problem with my Java. So it wasn't, it's not the game. But I got to get that figured out. And then I can go crazy with this trail mix stuff. But, but see, I can still one shot the Enderman. Oh, man. Well, guys, it's been a great journey with you with Tinkers. It's been so much fun. Like I said, we'll come back to it, you know, here and there. But the next project, I, I can't guarantee it'll be done next episode, but next project, I think I'm going to do the storage area on this level because this is the Tinkers level. Then I think storage here, I really want to get that going. And then we'll do some other, we'll do some other levels, but yeah. Okay, guys, that is going to do it for this episode. Also, get ready for tons of guns openings. Give them in my gun shop. He's getting some great stuff done on there. I gotta, I gotta help him. So, get ready for that. Well, thanks so much for watching, and I will talk to you later.